so welcome to another episode of Six Feet Apart. Today, we've got a walking bucket himself, Mr. Tyler Lydon. Thanks so much for hopping on here today. Yeah, absolutely. Anytime. Thanks for having me. Quarantine. We're over 100 days in. I've seen some hunting on your Instagram. How have you been staying busy and not going stir crazy? Yeah, I think I'm uh, I'm pretty lucky. I have three brothers, so and we have a nice little half court. So we get out there, and I've been doing a ton of stuff with them, but playing a lot of two-on-two -two and – during May, it was turkey season here in New York, so I'm, I'm big into the outdoors and hunting and fishing. So went turkey hunting, been fishing a lot, and then uh, recently we've been able to start up workouts, and so I train kids in the area and stuff like that. So um, just been back in the gym with those guys and the girls and enjoying the time, but it was definitely weird at first. So which brother wins, you know, when you play two-on-two -two and stuff like that? Uh, I don't really think we ever finish games. We all get pretty competitive. So we, we honestly, I, we really don't finish that many games, but whoever's on my team wins. Okay, so you're always winning. What's up guys, it's Tyler Lydon. Uh, really excited to announce that I'll be playing with Bayheim's Army in the 2020 TBT. Um, I, you know, I'm super excited to wear orange again and just ready to get back after it with some of the, those guys I play with and some of the, the former alumni. Let's get it. So you do yeah. have the basketball tournament coming up soon. You're on Bayheim's Army this year. Very exciting. You guys are a three seed. Um, yeah. What was it like when you found out the bracket was announced on Tuesday? Um, how excited are you? What have you been doing, you know, just to get ready for the tournament? Yeah, yeah I mean, obviously I've been working out, staying in shape, um, all that good stuff, but definitely very excited. I know all the guys were in a group chat and constantly on Zoom talking and stuff, but all the guys were super excited. I think it's just that chance to wear orange again really gets everyone to to kind of get up and get ready. And I don't know, it's just a, it's a cool feeling to think about wearing orange again. So I know everyone's super excited for it. And hey, there was no March Madness this year. So like this is the only basketball tournament everyone's looking forward to. Is yeah. that a little bit of pressure on your shoulders or you think you got it? No, I think at the end of the day, it's basketball. <laughs> all of us, I think. I mean, we've all played professionally, so. Um, we've all been to that highest level and, uh, you know, it's just something we're used to doing, I think, at this point. But it definitely, it's cool to think that we're kind of going to be the first sport to be back playing. And 10 days straight, you guys have, start on July 4th to the 14th. Um, mm -hmm. How many threes are you going to hit in the first game? Uh, <laughs> however many I take. I plan on making all the shots I take, so. We'll okay, see. there you go. Post that number. Post that number. 100%. Cool and to get the chance to play with some of my former teammates that I played with, but also play with some of the Syracuse legends like Eric and uh, D Nick and those guys. And so I, I think it'll be super fun to kind of get the opportunity to do both again. And very exciting. Bayheim's Army has never won the tournament, but could this be the year? Absolutely. I think you. I think if you go into it and you don't think you're going to win, I think you're already a step behind. So, I, I mean, we all have the mindset that, especially this year, I think we got the team that can definitely pull it off. There you go. Mind over matter, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> and personally for you, I've seen you've been doing some, you know, shooting um, challenges on Instagram and stuff. Are you going to continue doing those for all your followers out there? I saw the, what was it, the sniper challenge or something? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we do. So my partners and I, the people that we do, my brother and one of our good friends, we do training in the area, kind of like what I was saying. And so we just wanted to find ways to keep get, uh, kids engaged and, and on social media, at least doing stuff outside and give them something to go do. So we were kind of creating like a weekly challenge and it would be one of us um, kind of just creating our own little thing. And posting on our Instagram or Twitter, Facebook, whatever it was, just to get kids outdoors. But I think at this point, we might come out with another one, but for us at least, we're able to get back in the gym now. So we try and challenge kids in the gym. Are you, you know, shooting threes over all the middle schoolers? I try and take it easy on them. I try and take it easy on them. I let them, I let them win every now and again. Every now and then. What about TikTok? Have you been putting any videos on TikTok for kids? Because that's what they love. I mean, our generation, yeah. we're kind of more Instagram, but what about TikTok? Have you dabbled in it at I, all? So I had it for a little while, and then I, and I actually thought it was, like, hilarious. I actually liked <laughs> it. But um, I don't know. After a while, I just was like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, especially when quarantine first hit, like, I found, like, I just was on my social media and just, like, sitting on it scrolling. And I was like, I can't do this. I need to, like, go do something with my life and work <laughs> out. And How much are you working out and, you know, getting your body ready for the tournament? Because – it's about two and a half weeks away, yeah. I guess. 
Yeah, I mean, I like I said, I've been I've been staying in shape. I pick up a ball. I'm lucky enough that I actually have college guys that I work out, and they come up and play pickup and stuff. So nice. we get really good competitive runs in. And then, I mean, other than that, just doing basic workouts that I've kind of done my whole career, basketball-wise and lifting and all that good stuff. And what about being able to play with your team? Are you guys going to be able to play with each other before you head to Columbus? So I think the plan originally was that we were going to get up to Syracuse and try and have like get some practices in and play a little bit, that sort of thing. But um, unfortunately, with all the COVID stuff, I don't think that we're all going to be able to do that in certain guys' schedules and this and that. So there's a lot of things that kind of went into play. Mm -hmm. But I think our goal is we're going to get out to Columbus a little bit early. Um, and then when we get there, they're allowing us to do some practices. So we're going to kind of go from there. Okay, well, fingers crossed. You all, got, you all get to play together and everything. Lastly, you guys are in the championship game. Who are you playing and what's the score? Oh, I have no idea. That's a tough one. I honestly, okay, how about just what's the score? Uh, we're going to win that game. 87 to – I don't – because I don't – there's the, the rule format, right? Like, you got to win by – once you're at a certain point in time in the game, it's like the next to score seven first points or something like that. So, I don't know. I'll say it's going to be like 78 to 71 we win. And then you get your big million dollars, cash yeah. prize. Yeah. Well, Tyler Lydon, you just went six feet apart. Thanks so much for hopping on here today, and good luck in the tournament. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. I really appreciate you.